actually, I got a I got a story to talk to you about, Corey. Cause I remember we was talking about documentaries and stuff, and there was a movie that came out. I forgot what it was called. I think it was something about a bandit, but it was based on a true story. So, have you ever heard of the barefooted bandit? The barefoot bandit. Uh-uh. So it was basically, basically, it was a kid in the early '90s that was a 16 year old kid who who was on the run from the FBI for three years. Uh huh. Wait. I did hear. I don't know. I, I I can't tell you the story. I know the story. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I watched uh, like, Ray, Ray William Johnson talk about. Oh, it. really? So basically, right? His name was what was his name? His name was Colt. His name was Colton Moore. His name was Colton Moore, and he lived in Washington. Mm-hmm. And like, I remember his mom. Uh, they said his mom was like not really like they weren't really good parents. His dad used to beat him. And his mom used to never bring food home, so he used to be starving. Mm-hmm. So I guess one day he decided yeah, to run away from home and he would live in the woods. That but what he would do is he would freaking go into other people's cribs and steal food and he'll steal like like food, electronic. He would be just stealing stuff mm-hmm. like around the neighborhood. And then there was a time where the cops went into the woods to go find him because he started tweaking like he was stealing too much stuff. And then there was um they found his tent, and what they found is they found electronics, jewelry, food. And more money, mm-hmm. but they never found him. Like they searched the whole woods, but the whole time, Cuz was in the back, like in a tree or something, watching their every move. Mm-hmm. And I guess they gave him. They told him, "I was like, yo, like we have a couple days to like turn yourself in. Like if you turn yourself in now, we'll give you ten thousand dollars." But he was like, "Man, f all that." He decided to write a note and drop it off at his mom's house. He's like, "Hey, mom, the cops think this is a game. Like I'm really like this is really war for real." So what he did was. Cuz was stealing everything, bro. Cuz was stealing cars. He was stealing electronics. He was stealing money from people. Like, he had over a hundred, like, thefts in the, like, the northwest of the United States, like Washington, Idaho, all with no shoes at 16 years old, bro, just stealing people's stuff. He got so good at that, he started stealing planes. Mm-hmm. Cuz stole yep. a, bro. That's what, I, that's what, yep. Cuz stole a plane. And he said he learned how to fly because he he learned from video games. Mm-hmm. So he stole a little plane and he took that plane all the way to the Bahamas. And he crashed the plane and he found, he hijacked the boat. And then he hijacked the boat and he went over to like a little yacht party in the Bahamas. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yo, call the cops. He's like, they was like, why? He was like, because I don't know if y'all heard there's a kid that stole a plane. He's like, yeah, we heard a kid. He said he stole the plane, landed in the Bahamas. He said, yeah, I'm that kid. I just stole this boat. Now go call the cops on me. And they call, and he just skirted off and they called the cops. And I think a couple days later, he got caught by the Bohemian like police or whatever. And he got sent to, um, they got, they sent him back to the USA. And I think he only got seven years in jail for like yeah, well, all the robberies and stuff. Only that? Yeah. But I mean, he didn't kill nobody. Like he was oh, honestly, God. he was honestly like, like. I wish I remembered the story. Cause like, yeah. He was, on, did, he was I like a Robin Hood, this. honestly. Like he was just really just, he wasn't really hurting people. He was just stealing stuff. And he actually is out of prison now. Like this happened, like he got out, I think like 2014 or whatever. Is he living an honest life? Yeah, he's, like, he's cool. Like he, like, I think he been, he went on a podcast. He like talked about it. Like I ain't gonna lie. If Joe Rogan had that do on a podcast, I'll be fired. Cause he yeah. lived, he was really living real life GTA, bro. Yeah, no, that's tough. Think about it. Cuz is at 16. And that's even tough because he didn't kill nobody. He didn't like, kill nobody. He didn't hurt nobody. Bro, he hijacked a plane. He hijacked boats. He hijacked cars. Like, he literally, like, I remember he hijacked the BMW at 16. Mm-hmm. No shoes. And the cops seen him because he was just driving like a dickhead, just driving around. And he was out, able to outrun the cops. And then he hopped out the whip when he got to his woods and ran into the woods. And they couldn't find him. That's tough. Just imagine the US, the FBI couldn't find him for three years, bro. A 16 year old. And he just basically turned himself in. And he just basically turned himself in. He's just like, you know, I don't care. Like, it's what it, it is, what it is. And like, I think he passed by like a, a animal rescue shelter, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he dropped off like a couple thousand dollars. And he put a note. He's like, hey, I just seen you guys like as an animal rescue place. He's like, give this money to the, like, the animals and stuff to help him out. That's tough. He was I, a I nice dude. With, I fuck with that stuff. Like, he was like, that was, he just lived like a movie, bro. That's a fire that's, ass. That's hard. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Do it again, bro. I, hey, bro. <laughs> if somebody else doing that, that'd be tough, bro. Cuz we're really on the run from the FBI for all them years, bro. But just imagine. I don't think... Like, if you was on the run from the FBI, how long will it take you for them to find you? How serious am I? Like, what'd I do? Well, we'll say you did, like, um, robberies. Like, a lot of robberies. And they though. looking for me? Yeah, they, they looking for me. They know me? 
Yeah, they know you like your face is on the the poster. Nah, I'm getting caught soon. You getting caught soon? I'm not doing all that hiding and shit. Really? Yeah. Cause he was like playing with them. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, nah. Like if they don't know who I am, I, don't, I think I'm, I'm think I'm under the radar. Yeah. But once they get my face, yeah, it's over. But I'm gonna just be like. So you you're just not even gonna try? Yeah, cause now it's it's too tedious. Yeah, and you always gotta look over your shoulder and stuff. Yeah, it's too like feel me. Just come get me. Get would me. you even try to like leave the country? Like, would that be in your mind? I would try, but I don't think I don't. I don't know you me. Won't. I don't have no resource. I don't like if I had to leave the country right now and flee. I don't know how to. I'm do going it. to the Philippines. Yeah, but how you gonna do it though? Get me on that plane. Get me on that boat. I don't know. Yeah, see, I, that's too far though. Now going through the Pacific, I'm dead. You just come get me, bro. Go get you, cause like I don't know if you ever watched that TV show. It was on um True TV or MTV. It was called uh, How I Almost Got Away. Have you ever heard that show? Nah. So it was basically. I used to watch a lot of those shows too. You know, oh, like shows like that. Well, like, like yeah. It was. It's basically a show about how people like who escape prison, how they live their life, and how they almost got away with it. Yeah. So like it was like so like they, I remember there was a guy who like he was out of prison for like 10, 15 years. He changed his name, whatever. Like he escaped prison like through like the yard or whatever. Like climbed over the fence and was out, mm-hmm. and he moved to a different state, changed his name, whatever. But there was just one day he was outside walking by himself. Like he had a whole new life, had a a, a a wife, kids, all that stuff. Never told him about it. And there was just one day he was just randomly walking, and a cop looked at him. He's like, "What's your name? You look familiar." He was like, "Oh, my name is this that third. He's like, "Okay, bet." And then he looked at him, and then the cops started stalk like they they were stalking him. Now they know where he's at, and he arrested him, bro. Damn. Yeah, literally just one mistake. Like literally just like. They like they be thinking they're home free, bro. You didn't just if you didn't go outside that. You didn't go outside that one day. You been go home free, but that's why I be thinking. There's a lot of people that probably didn't get caught. Mm -hmm. That's still out there, like, um, being like either hidden. Like I think a lot of them live in like the like the mountains and stuff, like off the grid. Or a lot of them probably just changed their name and just not doing stuff, just being very low key about it. But like I know because I remember a lot of them. A lot of them were like murderers and stuff. Like either accidental murders or they really like kill people. Like it was a really good show. I ain't gonna lie. There was like a lot of like episodes where I didn't know I didn't know people really escaped. I didn't know people really escaped prison that often. <laughs> like that's how much like people were really escaping, bro. I might I might do that. It's pretty cool. It's it's how I almost got away with it. That's what it's called. Yeah, I might check that out. It was cool. It was cool. It was a cool show. I think you I think you'll be very interested in it, bro. But core, I got a lot of I got some hypothetical questions for you, brother. Ask you got, me, I'm ready for it. Do you have anything you want to talk about before I get into it? Or no, I get into it. You good? I don't want to get into that, <laughs> but okay. So Corey, I have a would you rather question for you. So would you rather get paid for every bad deed that you do? So say you take money from a kid that's like five dollars, or mm-hmm. if you like push a kid on the ground that's like twenty. Like the worse, the worse the deed, the more money you get. Or would you rather not have to follow any laws in the world? Like yeah. any laws in the world does not pertain to you, but anybody could do something bad to you and you can't call the police for help. Like you get no justice. And everybody know that. I want to say like, it's not like out there, like a picture of you, but like if somebody sees you like steal something, they could be like, Oh, he just stole that. Like they try to snitch on them. Like, mm-hmm. nah, he can't like, he, he's, he's good. Like he green. Like the guy's gonna say like, you good. Uh-huh. Like that. It's like that. It's not like out there, out there, but it's like, like people that like have a gist of like, they understand, like they know you because especially yeah. you're probably out there like stealing. Like it's not like they're hunting you down. But I'm saying, so like, do they know that they could do do it back to me and I can't say nothing back? Yeah, they know that. So that, everybody just know that. Yeah, they just know it's like you like all these like, they're like all the laws do not pertain to you, and they and all the laws could be done to you. But I'm saying that's known. Yeah. Damn, like niggas is just gonna come get me, bro. But it's like they could come get you, but like for what? Like you're not rich. This doesn't make you freaking filthy rich unless you want to try to rob a bank. Like if you try to rob a bank, it's not like. You can't get killed over that. Like they can still kill you for doing like robbing a bank. It's not like you. It's not like you go into a bank and they be like, "Oh, actually, no." If you, you know, if you do a height, if you ask niggas for money or like you say you walk into the back of the bank, you could take bread. Yeah. But like, how much money can you really get from that? I actually, no. You can really run it up if you yeah. do fraud. Or if I just do a or the Brinks trucks. Yeah. Or if I just follow the Brinks trucks, you just. Take the money, or I just wait. Oh, 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 even better. Yeah. What if I just get into like the the company? Yeah. And work for them, and they just steal the money. Mmm. Bro, you know how much money they carry a day? That is true. One truck, I'm fine. That yeah. is true. I still do. I I I don't think I I think I will pick no laws pertain to me. 
Me too. Cause I, I just I just follow the law still. Oh uh, yeah, I know. I'm still gonna I'm gonna be very low key. This is what I'm gonna do though. The bad the 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 things I'm gonna break is I'm gonna go to grocery stores and like take food. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take all the food from the grocery stores. Like if I go to like like go out to dinner or whatever, I'm not gonna pay for nothing. So I'm gonna yeah. get free food. And then on top of that, I'm gonna like resell a lot of things that I take from like stores like yeah, Costco. I'll do, yeah, I'll do something simple. I don't want to. I'm I, not gonna be doing heists and stuff. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to be on the radar. Like, yeah, nah. This nigga is wilding. Yeah, and he, yeah. Can't, and he getting away with it. Ain't getting bread. Now and now they like people. Somebody gonna see me like, oh yo, like yo, I just I already I seen you rob the bank. Come mm-hmm. here. Yeah. You know what like, me? Let me get your bird. Like, where yeah. your money at? Yeah, I don't think I'm like. Or like, that even want to just kill me? Like, yeah. Like yeah, nah, I'm cool. I don't want to feel me. So I'll just be, I'll just be low key. I might not even do nothing wrong for real. Like I might just, like I said, little, little petty stuff. Like that's cool. Or like if anything, I'll just like run an underground like fraud, like feel fraud me? scheme. Yeah, like what do what the people did with like the Chase banks. Yeah, but like feel me and like like but my name's not plastered. Like it's just yeah, yeah. It's just, and if we get caught, it's your company though. Yeah, but if, and if we get caught, I'm like, all right, you know, I, I'm mean? not getting in trouble. Y'all getting in trouble. Yeah, that's good. I like the idea, cause it's like. If like with the D's, I don't want to hurt nobody. I don't want to push no kids yeah, on the ground. Like, and it's like, I, like say if I like, like rob some place, like, I can still get arrested for you know that. I'm saying I can still get arrested, like even if I get caught, even if it was a bad D. Yeah. So yeah, no. Okay. Okay.